anyways, Royal, I was about to say... I only found out about this randomizer because it was a few months back. But there was like a bunch of people that I followed that were doing the Coliseum randomizer. And that's what made me like sit down and do the homework to actually look into and actually set that up. It just took me a few months after everyone else was done with it to even start up the Coliseum randomizer myself. And it's panning out just what I wanted it to, just a fun way to actually revisit this game. Main gate close. Which of course you would put the key here and not at the gate itself, but it's fine, it's realistic. And going from a key item reminds me that there's another key item that we could use back in the under. But... I don't want to backtrack all the way to the under just to check it out. It's just for an it's just for an item. We can go to it anytime. Don't ask me how I realized how I remember so quickly that was a thing. I think my brain's still a little trained from XD where they had a PC around here or something, so I'm just naturally drawn towards this one computer that has the seat. Okay, yeah. I mean by process of elimination. Probably would have figured that out eventually, because can't go anywhere here. You have to open this place up and hopefully we'll find the card key that we need over here. And awesome. Save point. That's a little bit more fiddling than I thought it would be. Alright. Now, I might be. I'm kind of like not quite into the story mode time brain at the moment, so forgive me if I like get a little silent here and there. I'll try to liven out the ambiance and all that, but I guess I could start with the good old typical question of how everyone's day is doing. You should do an you should do an un oh unite stream. Um, give me a sec. I'll talk about that in a little bit. I. You know what? Long story short, I'm kind of on and off of Unite. There's like... Occasions I play, sometimes I don't. I'm not quite sure if it really would make good stream material. I will keep that in mind, though, Lava. It's just, it's just not on the table right now, if only because there's so many other stream ideas that I have. But I'm definitely willing to keep it in mind, especially if people are interested in it. It's not the biggest no that I've ever had. Anyways, I forgot that this boy cotton is kind of just stuck being boy cotton. Boy cotton is kind of just our wall in the party. It's got it's got toxic. It's got defense boosting moves. It works best in long dragged out battles. It's a little bit unfortunate for the good typical content format, but. I just couldn't turn down using another Marie because I'm just a sucker for... Or I couldn't turn down using a Shadow Flap even though that's in Vanilla Coliseum. Because I'm just a sucker for the Pokemon. Alright. Um, let's see how much a uh, Bullet Seed could do. You know, it'd be nice if we could level up Boy Cotton and actually get some better moves on it. Unfortunately, we're kind of at the mercy of the Coliseum Randomizer. Especially with starting out at a higher level with less opportunities to actually learn moves. But it's fine. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Why can I be like this flaffy and actually have the twin needle? I think that would be a little more effective than the bullet seed. But I'd be perfectly fair. Hmm... You know, at this point, even though it would have been a lot more effective earlier on in the battle, I think Toxic Damage might be do more damage than Bullet Seed. Even with how slow it may be. But I, I think it'll be fine either way, where like, this Mareep is gonna go down sooner rather than later. And I guess it was a good idea to do the Shadow Pokemon Lab first. Like... 
freaking rematches at the Pyrite Building of all things were first trainer was at level 40 and this one already like two levels lower. Feel a little bit better about this. Hmm. Well, Side has more power points, anyways. And with that, good sir, I bid you adieu. Now, if you so, so conveniently happen to have a card key and manage to just eh, drop it off in the corner my way, it'd be very well appreciated. I didn't give anyone the experience share, did I? Oh, what do you know? He conveniently dropped the card key, exactly what we needed. Oh, that's the card key we needed, now we can get into the lab! Just in case it wasn't already obvious. Now, what's the down deeper, I say, as I just remember what's down here, just the other side of that lab that went boom DA in the last one. So I think that's a good approach. I just want to try out my strat of leading off with a light screen. I figured it'd be super useful for a double battle as well. Right, you have to go to the computer and put the card key in there. And now I can progress forward. Did I save? You know what? We'll find out together if I fail to snag a shadow Pokemon. If I properly saved. Yeah, they weren't kind enough to give us a PC, so... Or give us a Pokemon Center, or a healing machine. Third time's the charm. So I get the feeling I'm gonna be abusing the heck out of that PC thing, because it's quicker than just going over to the Pokemon Center. I told you, really, I told you we should have had the uniforms. I told you it would help. Also, give me a sec, I think I just noticed that... You know what? The video's fine. This is why we play the randomizer. Well, no time like the person to try out that strat. I mean, Sacred Fire would be super strong in the sunlight. <laughs> It might be a little cheesy, but I'm half, I'm half tempted to swap in Scaligator and just put it to sleep and take the easy way out. But we'll see how it pans out. Unfortunately, I don't really ha have any Pokemon to attack that would that would get any good use out of the whole sleep, or I mean the whole fire fire boost because they both resist fire is what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say that it's a ground type and a water type, so they both resist the fire, so there's no point going into the fire moves now. Especially because, like, Jojo's probably the worst Pokemon on our team to have a fire type move, especially considering of how... Oh, good, it got paralyzed. I say sarcastically, but we can make it work to our advantage. A Con Spore Grodon. Maybe we'll be okay after all. Maybe the Squirtle will be the real fret. Let's see. Hmm. Oh yeah, this is Gen 3, so that weather's gonna stay here forever. I completely forgot about that. Do I go for a paralyzation again? Well, too bad it's not Gen 1 I can just abuse paralyzation stuff. Uh, let's try out that triple kick. That I was gonna say that Black Belt boosted triple kick and watch it only hit like one time. Just for that glorious mess to happen. Ah well. Hmm. Alright. I think whoever gets Gun Spore this time is gonna get swapped out. Just. 
I was kind of half tempted to at least heal the Blossom anyways, just because of the whole Dragon Rage doing a fixed 40 damage and not really having plans to survive anytime soon after that. I mean, this might be a decent time for a heat wave. Just focus on getting out of here and attack both Pokemon at once without too much in range to fear. Hmm. You know what, I'm gonna go in the Ruby King. Can't really do too much. Can't put the ground on to sleep now that it's paralyzed. So might as well take advantage of that sun. Ride it for all it's worth. Maybe ground on will be neutral and not resisted. Yeah, this will this will be just fine, huh, actually. Unless it decides to just dodge the attack. Left sigh. Oh, so you have a fixed damage move too. Fantastic. This Groudon is managing to be a threat in ways that I did not possibly imagine being that way. Also, yeah, I got those potions. I finally took those potions out of the PC just to heal them up. Or get rid of them. Just to use them up, so... I mean, you know, I think I'll be fine. I think I'll remember to just use them up in between battles. Because it's not like I'm going to actually use them in battles at this point. So I might as well like keep them to like save a Poco Center trip and fun. The whole point of using Heat Wave. So I wouldn't have to stop attacking the Growlithon. It's kind of been completely negated. And it's kind of getting scary being this low on health and knowing exactly how much damage they'll do to you. Let's just take care of it for real this time. Also, probably could have got a few more lemonades while I was down in the under. Ah, uh, well, hindsight is 2020. Go get him, Jojo. And don't miss that squirrel this time, otherwise you're gonna be in the doghouse. Come on. Perfect. That's at least one less fixed damage move Pokemon I gotta worry about. And I'm actually feeling pretty good about whatever comes out next. Victory Bell. Yeah. Not as annoying as a Groudon, believe it or not. Especially because I got Blaze Kick. Yeah. Like I said, not as annoying as a Groudon. And it's speed reduction spamming goodness. Well, that Flight Screen was fairly useful. The one they kept using, like, Nice Shade. But let's just go for it. If I can get this to a two-on-one in a single turn, that's worth ignoring the ground on for a single turn. But yeah, that light screen certainly had its usefulness when they all spam single moves that didn't. They, when they all spam moves, they could take out one. Then that light screen was useless for. Oh, I forgot that Blaze Kick was inaccurate. Now, am I in a range where a, a Heat Wave can finish it off? It's super effective. Oh, it's also burnt. Yeah, we're fine. As long as we don't miss, we're fine. I am... And even if we do miss, it'll be annoying. But I can make my way... I'm not in trouble. So please don't miss. That would be annoying. Come on, Jojo. Okay, good. Now we just have to not miss. A little chip damage for you. And one less victory bell to worry about. And it's all good. All golden. Now I just got the ground down, but again. Not too scared of this, of this Groudon in a two-in-one situation. <laughs> yep, definitely not scared of Groudon. I mean, as it stands, that's, that would make a perfect thumbnail, just... Our Charizard kicking a Groudon in the face. I'm sure there's some metaphor about the Pokémon Company that can be made with that. Unfortunately, that single battle kind of left me a bit rough. 
So, we're gonna follow what he says and evacuate. And by evacuate, I mean evacuate to that other building that has the PC. Swap everyone in and out so we get a full heal without backtracking all the way to a healing machine. Now, any moment now, there, I knew we had interlopers hiding on the ceiling somewhere around here. And yeah, I did use a plural term. Oh, oh boy. You know, it's kind of funny that we've ran... How many Growlithe we've ran into throughout this adventure. But this is like the first Reggie Ice. That's... I think there's actually quite a few legendaries that we have run into. Stalling for time in the hopes that we have a Shadow of Reggie Guy. And it's the Nine Tails. Well, technically a new Shadow Pokemon for this game. I mean, you got Vulpix and XD, but I feel like at this point there's not really... Too many Pokemon that are shadows in Gale Darkness that aren't shadows in Coliseum. Unless we go really deep into all the Gen 3 Pokemon. Because XT, I feel like, covers a lot of the bases for the Cantle stuff, and Coliseum Vanilla, at the very least, is all made for the Cal. for the Jodo Pokemon. So, I'm not too worried about Reggie's Ice because it is a, more of a bulky Pokemon than an offensive powerhouse. So, I feel like we'll be able to take it down eventually. And we could get stuck with much worse things. It'd be cool to use a Shadow Reggie Ice, especially because I kind of end up boxing the Suicune. And unless I can find some good TMs to redeem it, I don't know if I really am gonna get an opportunity to get it back out of that PC. Surely there's at least one more Shadow Legendary hiding in this game somewhere. I mean, Vanilla Coliseum has like three. Either way, let's just make our way through this. It's little city may end up being the base. You know what, I'm not gonna risk the crit. Let's get Dream Gator out here. Put it to sleep, and that should put it into a range where I can catch a prop without too much issue. Besides, it might just cripple itself down to the range I wanted to be with the whole shell rushing and all. Probably not with that amount of damage, but possibly. Also, like, I don't think that Reggie Ice would have really made a good Pokemon in our party anyways. At the rate it's just been using Steel Wing. Now, I forgot what else it even has. But I wasn't really finding anything too impressive quite yet. There we go. See... It put itself in good snagging range for me. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is like where the shadow area does normally be. I know because, like, I feel like I have really strong memories of trying to make spin rack work. No, I think what it is is it's not shadow aerials here. In this exact area in Pokemon XD is when you find the shadow spin rack, and that's engraved into my mind so strongly. It's a very random, specific thing to remember, but I remember it so well because I always wanted to make a spinner rack slash aerials work on the team, but it never really pans out that way. Alright, let's see. Just to be on the safe side though, especially because I can afford to do so. Pokeball trick you away, and... Yeah, I say triple kick instead of shadow rush to be on the safe side, but as we've seen that move can miss, so I guess there's a gamble to either or. But if we get this first try, all oh, the worth it. Nice. Now I'm kind of like, you know what, next time I go back to the PC I'm definitely going to dig out that thing. 
because I think Blossom's all fine and dandy. I definitely see strategic value in having light screen, but I'm more, I'm more willing to like, I want to just play around with a new Shadow Pokemon. And that way I don't feel bad about like not getting any purification gauge out of it. So far, so good. Like, we've gotten a lot of stuff. We've gotten a lot of stuff that we can just... Triple kick. Which is all fine. Thunder Wave Venusaur. Not something I was expecting to see today. And man, I forgot about just how Venusaur used to look. Despite, like, my strong... Venusaur is not a frog opinions. I kind of okay with the evolution that the model for Venusaur has gone through. Yeah, unfortunately, rock ground and not rock fightings, or not rock dark, but rock ground. So there's not really too much to it. Not really too much more. Would have done a lot more otherwise. I don't. I'm not a huge fan, to be perfectly honest, of the range or like that double team in particular. Hopefully, we can alleviate that sooner rather than later, though. You don't mind me. I'm just gonna. Post something in the chat just to make sure that OBNS is still working the whole Twitch stream thing. Yeah, we're good. Mm. I mean, this is neutral. And this sucks. Um, yeah, let's just bring Ruby King in here so we can finish this up quicker, get for this battle a little bit faster. I got the experience share on Pokemon that needs it, so I don't mind messing around a little bit with this. Don't miss... Thank you. Ooh, that really got for the battle a lot faster. <laughs> and it gives me an excuse to quote unquote heal anyways. Let's go pick up that Shadow Ninetales. I probably should, especially because I forgot to save after the last one, so I really should. So I don't have to go through two battles like that again. Well, thank goodness. Well, thank goodness that Pokemon XD came around, and even though they recycled so many Calcium locations, they at least improved the backtracking the Shadow Pokemon lap at the very least. You know what? I feel like the I feel like if you can skip them, they don't have a Shadow Pokemon. Oh hey, speaking of trainers I can't skip. <laughs> uh, I guess that's Karma waiting for me at the front door. But do you have a Shadow Pokemon? For some reason, I think because you're a scientist that you don't. But we'll just we'll see. We'll find Jojo's, out. the stats on Jojo is really starting to show. Like the fact that it's not a fully evolved Pokemon is really starting to show with like getting taking so much damage from a skitty of all things. So I think it might be worth letting it evolve, even though then we get Truant and then we have to deal with the whole Truant mess. I can work around that. I can just buy more items and actually implement them more often. Simple as that, just pick up, find a place to pick up some X attacks and X defenses so we're not doing nothing on those turns and with it being a whole, in the whole double format it's not like we don't get to attack, we just have like slightly... we just instead, we just have to like not be brute forcing every turn because every other turn we're forced not to attack with our Pokemon. I definitely see the potential it working out. That said, you have the only fire type move on my team, so I think it's actually worth sacrificing the Nine Tails turn to get you out of not dying range. 
Oh. Why am I being stingy with my hyper potions? I guess so many. Alright. Oh. I meant to go for Sacred Fire again. Ah, well. I think Sacred Fire would have his own problems with missing and all. Alright. <laughs> wait. I'll admit, I looked away. Did the fortress just use Sacred Fire against me? Wait, did I see that right? Am I back down to literally no health again? See, we're, we're already playing the slacking game just instead of with... Is that we're doing for all the turns and not just some of the turns. And instead of the Slack King being the one not attacking, it's our Ninetales. Woo! I made the right choice toxicing you! I think that's the first time... I don't think I've had a more obvious moment in my life that I made the right choice going for the slow, going for the toxic, instead of just trying to brute force my way through a Pokemon. Cause man, I am not putting up with your heal stalling for even a moment. You can synthesis this all day for all I care. Eventually that toxic damage is going to overtake you. Alright. As a reminder of myself, I have potions. I didn't take that much damage from that battle. I can just use the potions and be along my merry way. Oh, what a shame. We couldn't stop the Shadow Poke. They're already down with all the Shadow Pokemon, so we can stop them. But at least we can continue for the lab. Oh. I forgot I didn't fight you. I, I mean, to be perfectly honest, I completely forgot you were there altogether. Well, I guess we're not missing out on the experience at all. Speaking of free experience. Let's just start with this. Actually, I could have gone to Jojo. Seeing as I wanted to get Jojo in for this Mushum. Oh, I forgot you were just. You take physical damage like a piece of paper. Completely forgot about that. So I'm wasting a toxic on a Smoochum. Ah well. Oh no, this is perfect! At least in the fact that I would much rather Toxic a Magmar than a Smoochum. Especially if that's his opening move. You know, I could go into Jojo, or I could just go into Ruby King, who not only has Stab, but actually has Special Attack stat worth crud, and do my Fire move that way. Yeah, I hate the Iron... I hate... Irony is not the right word, but I hate the Poetic Justice, or Poetic Anti-Justice, maybe even more accurate than that. Of a Charizard carrying the team. It's not that I dislike Charizard, but the fact that like I'm basically just like any other Gen One Pokemon fan relying on their Charizard to carry me throughout the entire bat, entire adventure. All right, let's just let this play out because I don't think there's too much more to it. Solid Blaze Kick to the face should outpace that Skull Bash. And we're back to just free, easy EXP. Also, I just got thinking I should probably get that EXP share off Scout. 